Well, what's up riders? Old Man Ronan here and welcome back to the channel. Yeah, we're going to go on a little adventure today, something I haven't been over uh, uh, this year yet. We're going to head to Columbus, Ohio and uh, we're going to visit uh, Throttle Company, Vintage Cycles, and I think it'll be a lot of fun over there. Uh, you guys get to check out some of my new equipment that we're running. Uh, I made a long distance trip down to Virginia and back in the Appalachian Mountains and uh, I'll tell you what, this jacket here, this Olympia jacket, uh, it's more of a summer style, it's mesh. Man, did it work fantastic. And it's working great today too. And also our new Zox uh, Zenith helmet. Uh, man, I'll tell you what, I really, really enjoy it. But to be honest with you, uh, this is going to be a really good test because I just got all the Moto Vlog equipment hooked up into this helmet. So uh, you're going to hear for the very first time what it sounds like to me too. <laughs> but it should be a lot of fun and we're going to head on over there. So it's going to be an exciting day. We're going over to Kickstands and Coffee at Throttle Company. So stay tuned. Yeah, guys, uh, I, I, uh, I really get a kick out of visiting those guys there, Royal Enfield dealer. I think they just recently took on Moto Guzzi, uh, so they do a lot of the, uh, a lot of the uh, metric bikes, obviously, plus they do a lot of reconstruction and re restoration of bikes, too, which is right up my alley, because I like to do that, too, albeit I do more on the Harley-Davidson side, <laughs> but I think they can do those as well, too, no, no question about it. We're going to see some pretty cool bikes. I actually did a video on it. Uh, Right after I started the channel, I think it was in season one, and like what I like to do for this channel here is I like to break down the seasons into every six months, and so we're on actually season five, yay! <laughs> and we're starting our third year moto vlogging, and I'm pretty tickled with it, so it should be kind of fun. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. You know, I've got the uh, long ride. Uh, I actually put it on just to kind of show off over here to Throttle Company, show them what they look like. But we've got the long ride, big duffel on the back. And I'll tell you what, that thing, I carried everything I needed to do uh, for the motorcycle and my own personal stuff in that one uh, long ride, long bag. It didn't even need to take the smaller one because I had everything in it. It is a huge duffel bag. And I'll tell you what, I really, really did enjoy using it. It. Uh, it, it, it got a great shoulder strap. Ah, man, I'm, I'm just in love with this stuff. I truly am. We're going to go on the highway just here a second. Ooh, how do you like that? Ah, the bike's running good. You know, doing over a thousand miles on this motorcycle really uh, proves to me how well these motorcycles are built. I, uh, I'm, I'm in love with the Meteor anyways. I think I told you guys that. I love the I, I just love the entire Royal Enfield line that's going on right now. Um, I, uh, I would love to have an INT or a GT. Probably the GT more fits my style more because I have other style cruisers. And although, man, if I, if I had a chance to get a classic, <laughs> you know, the bike I'm excited about is some of the new stuff that are coming out and i don't know any specific details guys you know yeah i may be a brand ambassador for world infield but i don't get any inside information uh i mean that's just that wouldn't be fair because you know loose lip sync ships and they want to keep things secret so i appreciate that because you know when i introduce a new item on the menu i don't like to tell everybody ahead of time i like people come up and go oh what's that and that's kind of what uh, uh i i have a feeling that world infield wants to do the same exact thing but I've never really been to any of the uh, Throttle Company events, and I, I tell you, I want to come over. And they're great folks over there with Dylan and Nicole and their dad, uh, uh, Ken. They, uh, they're just really, really nice people, and they're doing a really good job for Royal Enfield. So uh, I think that's going to be a big, uh, big factor. They're going to be a big player in the uh, Central Ohio market, that's for sure. Between them and Mid-Ohio Power Sports, man, they're just saturating the area with Royal Enfields. And that makes me happy because I tell you what, I really do believe in this brand. Um, like I said, I've been riding Harley Davidsons and I will always keep riding Harley Davidsons. I'm not going to sell any of my bikes because I, and I, people ask me, why don't you sell your bike and get something else? Here's the reason why, guys. All of the Harleys that I've got, I rebuilt 
from being average, if not really bad shape motorcycles. So there's, uh, there's some emotional equity there. And that's one of the reasons why I'll never ever get rid of them, unless I absolutely have to. You know, you never know what the, uh, the economy is going to bring these days. And there may be a point in time where I have to get rid of one or two of them. And if that's the case, that's going to be really hard on the old heart. Because I put a lot of blood, sweat, and tears into those bikes. Uh, and money. I'll tell you what, so far, now I don't know if I'm getting any extra noise in the helmet. I moved the microphone uh, a little bit to see if it was even better. So we'll have to see how it goes. You know, when I was down in Virginia, I climbed uh, a mountain that was called uh, Angel's Rest, and uh, it was a lot of fun. Uh, <laughs> well, at least the bottom two-thirds were. The upper third was not so much fun for the old man. Hey, let me put a little blurb in there right here from my camera phone. found respect for the guys that do the entire eight uh, Appalachian Trail because uh, there's some really <laughs> tough obstacles to go through yeah well I'll tell you what we're almost on top uh, you see uh, Angel's Rest but man it is simply stunning I know right <laughs> well I made it and <laughs> we've met some friends sound off guys Chris Colin yeah they uh they laughed at me, <laughs> but I'm old and stuff, so. But what of you guys, what of you? <laughs> yeah, it was, uh, we met a couple of guys on the trail that actually laughed at me going up because, uh, Man, I had to stop a lot. <laughs> I know, right? Well, guys, it's going to be kind of a boring ride over there to uh, Throttle Company simply because it's mostly flat land. We get out of my hill country, uh, and it turns to uh, not the kind of roads that I like. So we'll get right back to you when we get over there. Well, we just pulled up to uh, Throttle Company, and I thought we would go on inside, visit uh, uh, Dylan, Nicole, and Ken, and uh, basically just say hey. And if you guys don't remember, I came here a while back, and I wanted to show you this dealership again because I'll tell you what—they do a remarkable job with not only vintage bikes but also Roland Field and now Moto Guzzi. So, welcome. You know, they were uh, really the first Central Ohio dealer for uh, Royal Enfield, and I, uh, when I first got to Himalayan, I came down there to introduce myself and bought some parts off of them as well too. You know, basically for the uh, the the, the uh, pannier rails and now things like that. So, and it's uh, it's pretty cool. We uh, we also got the uh, the GV crash guard here too as well. So, what a beautiful area! And I'll tell you what, I'll take you over to the vintage bikes here in a little bit, but. But I just want to show you some of the, the really cool stuff. And of course, they got a, a huge number of classics. And um, I really get into this uh, Halcyon Black. I think that's beautiful. Not only that, but the, uh, the traditional Halcyon as well, too. But yeah, they, uh, yeah, we'll get to the vintage here in a little bit. Take you back to the Hemi area. And this is their little designated Himalayan area. And uh, like I said, they have plenty of bikes for y'all. <laughs> no doubt about it. It's one of the things I like about uh, these guys here at Throttle. They, uh, they do have a great selection of bikes and uh, they eagerly allow test rides, which is a lot of fun. And I think that's the most of the folks that are doing the Royal Enfield anymore are doing that because they want you to experience their motorcycles. So we're going to go over to the uh, vintage and also the Moto Guzzi here because uh, 
I, I was excited that uh, there's a Central Ohio, uh, well, actually Ohio, I think there's one in Cincinnati, but the uh, Moto Guzzi dealer, because uh, I was mentioning uh, the only time I ever ridden one was when I was in Italy. I had a choice between a Ducati and a Moto Guzzi, and I took the Moto Guzzi. And they've got some really cool bikes. We have a uh, one of our, our channel uh, subscribers, Ray, he has one of the adventure style bikes, and uh, he came over to show it to me, and they're just absolutely beautiful. I. Uh, I really do enjoy the look. It's a it's a retro bike in a way, but yet it's also got the modern conveniences. And you know, Italians always make good stuff. <laughs> I've always enjoyed them. Uh, but here's like the adventure style, and this one looks like it's reserved. But yeah. You know, just ran into a couple of uh, avid motorcyclists here. It's Sherry and uh, your name? Kenny. Kenny. And uh, they basically are telling us they're down here at Throttle Company about their, that she's got a road king, so we got to give her big props on that. And he's got a soft tail, which i got to give him props on that because, you know, you guys know that that's a couple motorcycles that I'll never, ever get rid of. But Tell us a little bit about yourself. My name is Sherry, and I am a member of the Motor Maids, and we are the largest all-female riding club in the country. We received our AMA uh, charter in 1941. So we have been riding and accumulating miles as a club for a number of years. We just had our 82nd uh, convention in Rapid City, South Dakota. Well, you know what we, uh, like I said, with our daughter and uh, Iron Lady riding, we really appreciate the lady riders. And, and yourself, sir. My name is Kenny. I'm part of the Sons of Armageddon Motorcycle Club. We are a uh, law enforcement um, support club, awesome. and uh, I ride a 2013 uh, soft Sher Heritage Softail. He just, he just mentioned he had a 2004 Sportster, you know, it's uh, kind of funny. How long have y'all been riding, if you don't mind me asking? Since 2014. Since 2014, 20 same years. 20 years. Yeah, we, uh, like I said, I, everybody knows me. I'm old man running, so I've been riding over 50 on the road, and uh, it's one of those type of things that I got my first Harley when I was 14 years old. It was an old 66 XLCH, but you guys already know that. And it's kind of cool because guys, I think, that start out on the sporties kind of stay with them for a long time because they are fantastic motorcycles. He just mentioned he was on it for 18 years. Well, guys, it was really a pleasure. I hope you visit the channel. It's nice meeting you, and nice really meeting enjoyed you. it. Thank you. And grab yourself another sticker over there right. if you want one for yourself. So. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. So here we are looking at some of the uh, uh, Royal Enfields, in particular the INT and of course the GT. And we also have Dylan here with us. And uh, like I said, he's got a great YouTube channel as well too. And I'll put it down in the uh, d description and also below here his YouTube channel to check out. He does one called Inside the Loop. Is in the Loop? Yeah. In the Loop. Yeah. And it's a really cool shows all the different bikes that they have here. But uh, kind of give us a feel for what's going on here with uh, Throttle Company. And I think it's going to be an exciting thing. You guys are going to learn some stuff. Yeah, so it's Throttle Company Vintage Motorcycles. Our original idea was just vintage bikes. We started to look at the Royal Enfields, started to fall in love with them. There was no dealer nearby. We're in Columbus. And, uh, and one thing led to another. And we're actually one of the biggest by a lot of measures, and we're very passionate about Royal Enfield. So I've got my interceptor out here. My dad's got an interceptor. So it's me and my dad, my girlfriend Nicole, and we all ride in uh, Royal Enfields of some kind. And then a couple other people work here. So we're a small shop, and uh, we mostly focus on Royal Enfields. We just recently added Moto Guzzi, which I'm sure you've got some footage of there. But uh, yeah, it's, I, I'll tell you, and it's one of the things I was excited you guys were carrying because it's the only time I ever rode, and I'd like to tell the story, the only time I ever ever rode a Moto Guzzi is when I was in Italy and I had a choice between wow. a rent was in, uh, we were on the Amalfi Coast and I had a chance to rent either a Ducati or a Moto Guzzi and I decided to do the Moto and I had a really good time. Of course, this was years ago, guys, you know, before most of you were born. <laughs> <laughs> Can't be that old. <laughs> that long ago? Yeah, it was in the 80s. Wow. <laughs> so, not for you. But well, we'll it's pick. a cool, Moto Guzzi is a cool brand and what's interesting about the parallels between these two bikes is they're kind of the last brands that are doing like oil cooled and they're kind of transitioning, both of them are. You hear rumors about Royal Enfield doing liquid cooling, Moto Guzzi's doing the same thing, but they're the last two brands that are doing that. Polar opposites in some ways, but people still walk in and say, I've never heard of Royal Enfield. I've never heard of Moto Guzzi. And it's funny because Royal Enfield does almost two million bikes a year. Moto Guzzi does like 10,000. They're essentially all still handmade. So they're totally different off opposite ends of the spectrum, but they still have that name recognition thing in America that we're working on and passionate following, that kind of thing. 
Yeah, and you know, like I say, the, the, old, the older Italian brands, like you said, Ducati, Aprilia, uh, and of course, the Moto Guzzi, I mean, they're, 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 they're cult bikes just like Royal Enfield is, just like Harley Davidson is. They're, they're cult bikes, and people buy them because of the name uh, when they finally ride them and they get a kick out of them. And I like to, they're easy to work on. I, I don't know if it's still okay. true as far as some of the. Moto Guzzi? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So they, they get that retro feel that you, that a person who wants to buy one can still work on it himself. Yep. yep. Which is my favorite thing about Royal Enfields. You obviously are a big champion for that, but just there's nothing about it that isn't accessible and easy to work on, and there's a million people online that know how to do it. Which makes it nice, you know. Like I said, my background has been Harley most of my entire life. I've had other bikes, like we mentioned. We're going to take a picture here of this Norton 850 Commando, which I'm drooling all over, but it's not for sale. <laughs> but uh, I really, you know, the, my, between my Triumphs and my Nortons, and and uh, of course the Harleys and the Suzukis and the Yamahas, and the, and the I never owned a Kawasaki, and the Hondas that I had, I really do get a kick out of the, just the motorcycle culture in, in in general. And this place here, I know I was here uh, a couple months ago, maybe longer than that now. And I really wanted to tell folks, you really need to come and visit this dealership because not only do they sell new bikes, but they've uh, got some, uh, some vintage uh, bikes as well, too. And let's run some B-roll on that right now. Well, we came into the uh, Moto Guzzi side of uh, Throttle Company, uh, Moto Guzzi of Columbus, and Dylan's going to tell us a little bit about these guys. So far, they're great. Uh, I think this is our third month that we had them. Uh, they've been selling amazing. I love the motorcycles. Interesting for me because the whole vintage bikes, and I thought for sure it'd be like the V7. So these are V7 Special, and it's like the, it's a very classic bike. And they call it the Special. I really think of it as a classic. It's sort of somewhere in between the Interceptor and the GT. You know, it's got cafe racer look, especially with the tank, but it does have handlebars rather than clip-ons. But I thought that was going to be the one I wanted. And then I rode the V85. I guess it was probably the black one, that first one I ever rode. And that's like their adventure bike. And that has just blown me away. That is the next bike uh, for me that I'm going to buy. And I, it's hard, I was just talking about this, but it's hard to decide which version because there's so many different weird options that they do. But they, everything they do now, which is super convenient for us taking them on, is the same engine. So it's all an 850. They have V7, V9, which I don't, well, there's one over there, and, uh, and then the V85 Adventure, but same engine. Pretty convenient. That is pretty nice. That way, you know, you don't have to have a tremendous number of different parts, yeah. which is even better That's what I mean. for people who are working on the motorcycles yeah, in particular. Yeah. So, well, I can tell you, I'm really excited about you having these motorcycles, uh, in, uh, and hopefully, maybe someday we can get a chance to ride one just oh, to get a that. feel. So that'll be great. Again, guys, I really want you to uh, visit Throttle Company here in Columbus if you're in, even if you're just driving through. I know a lot of guys are running up uh, 71 and 75, not 75, but 71. Stop in here, check them out. They've got a tremendous number of vintage. Bikes which we saw the B-roll earlier, and uh, it, it's it's well worth it, particularly if you're interested in Royal Enfield and, of course, Moto Guzzi. Well, we're just leaving uh, <laughs> Throttle Company. I'll tell you what, guys, uh, it's always a pleasure seeing uh, Dylan and Nicole, and like I said, it's a lot of fun. We're, uh, we're going to film a little bit because I, I thought it'd be kind of cool to take you through downtown Columbus here, and uh, that's really where we're at. And uh, Columbus is uh, what one of the top 15 cities in the biggest in the uh, nation, and you know, I don't really ride a lot of cities. <laughs> But we're gonna we're gonna check it out a little bit, uh, see how long the uh, camera works here, and hopefully not get killed by cars going by. Because <laughs> you know this old country boy, he does uh, he does life his spaces. But uh, yeah, it's uh, what a good time we had there. Got to see some of the new uh, Moto Guzzi motorcycles that they've got, and I'll, I'm excited. We're gonna maybe get uh, a chance to ride uh, a couple of them down the road here as well too. I think that'll be a great addition to the channel because it's one of the. I was mentioning the story. I just really 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 enjoy all different kind of motorcycles but in particular I really like the uh, the Moto Guzzi it's a, it's another hair
heritage brand that I think is exciting to uh, to ride. It's uh, another bike similar to Royal Enfield and to Harley Davidson. That it's a uh, it's a vintage look to it. It's very simple, easy to work on, easy to do maintenance yourself, and uh, I think that's going to be a big factor in our future videos down the road. Well, I hope you really got a kick out of seeing it. But let's go on and have a little adventure here. Let's put the windscreen down and uh, see a little bit of uh, downtown Columbus. Not much. I don't want to bore you too much with city driving because that's really not what I like to do. However, I think it's important to show you guys that I do drive everywhere. <laughs> so we do have some big ass buildings. <laughs> And there's our ugly ass state house. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> we'll get a better view when we go by it. But uh, yeah. This is a Saturday in Columbus, Ohio. Or if you guys are from the rest of the country, this is a Saturday in Columbus, Ohio. I passed an ugly ass <laughs> state house. Oh, I'll stick a picture of it right here because it's ugly. Well, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video today. It was without a doubt a blast making this video, and I was uh, another time to visit with, uh, like I said, the guys there at the throttle company, Dylan, Nicole, and of course Ken. And we really do appreciate those guys as uh, not only motorcycle enthusiasts, but when being one of the most uh, successful. Royal Enfield dealers in the nation today. So they're they're a great group of people. Get a chance, check them out. Well, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you give us a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that bell notification button, guys. Share and comment. You know, I read all the comments and comment on as many as I possibly can. Until next time, ride safe and keep her on two wheels, baby.